Good morning, boys and girls from Conway Christian. How are you doing today? I hope that you are doing really good. It's Wednesday and two more school days and then we're on spring break. And I know that you guys are excited for spring break. You may get to, to go do a few things with your family, have some time at home to rest or just have some time with no homework or test. And that's always pretty exciting too, isn't it? So I'm excited for you guys. I'll miss y'all over spring break and I'll be praying for you to have a safe time that you'll be back really soon. I wanna to talk to you today for chapel about something I've talked to you about before, but I just, I love it so much. I want to mention it again. It's my favorite movie of all time. You guys remember what my favorite movie of all time was? I did this one time before. Anybody remember? I'll give you a hint, okay? To infinity and beyond. That's right. Toy Story. I love this movie and I love Woody is my favorite character, but my second favorite is probably Buzz Lightyear. And I like Buzz Lightyear. You see him back there? Okay. Buzz. Because of one of the things he says. He says to infinity and beyond. So I want to I want to talk about that a little bit today. And to do that, I want to show you something. So let me get this all pulled up here. There it is. You see where, where Buzz says that? That's a big word to infinity. What does infinity mean? Do any of you guys know? You might some of you older kids I know know. Something you might learn in math. Miss Lee might teach you this in math. Infinity just means you can go on forever. One plus one is two, and you keep counting. And if you count to six million, well, then you can count to six million and one, and six million and two. And it would just keep going and going and going. It would go on for as long as you could ever count. We can never reach infinity. And that's why Buzz Lightyear says that. He wants to go as far as he can go and then even beyond that. He wants to go further than anything that we can even think about or imagine to infinity and beyond is what Buzz says. So how do we do that as Christians? How do we do that uh, in some of the things that we do in our life? That's something kind of interesting to think about. Can we go to infinity and beyond maybe? I would like to think that some of you guys are going to go really far in life. You're going to go to new places and do lots of cool things. I'm so sad about our seniors. They're getting ready to graduate. I know they're excited about it, but they're getting ready to go out and do things. And, and we, we hope to get you guys ready for that one day to go to infinity and beyond. But that's something in the future. What about right now? What about today? How can we go to infinity and beyond today? Well, I want to show you some Bible verses that might help us deal with this a little bit. Okay. And whoop, sorry about that. Move me down here. How about that? Here's the first one. Okay. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. We can know that Jesus will never change. Who he is and the things that he loves and the things that he wants us to do never, ever change. We have the same commandments, the same things that he wants us to do all the time. That's good for me because I, I need to know what to do and what to expect. Some of you guys play sports and basketball and baseball, and volleyball. And when you have a coach that tells you, hey, go do this thing, then, then you can usually do that. But sometimes it's hard when like maybe the situation changes or like in basketball, you're on offense and you're getting ready to score. And then if the other team gets it, you have to switch to defense really quick. Well, Jesus never changes. So we can know whatever he tells us to do a thousand years ago is the same thing we'll be doing a thousand years from now. His commandments don't change. He's always the same. So if we think about going to infinity and beyond, if his commandments are the same, then what are his commandments for us? And here's what I want us to think about. Someone asked Jesus one time, what is the greatest commandment? This is in Matthew chapter 22, verse 36 there. What is the greatest commandment? What's the most important thing? You know what Jesus told them? It's the greatest commandment for them and for us. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and most important commandment. And the second is to love your neighbor as yourself. If we want to go to infinity and beyond with Christ, we want to do what Jesus called us to do, plus go beyond that. These are the two things we have to think about. Number one, we have to love God with all our heart, with all our soul, and with all of our mind. Our heart and our soul, that's just who you are. That's your personality. That's those things about you that I really like, those funny characteristics you have, or your talents and abilities, or the way God made you the skills you have. Some of us are really good at sports and some of us are really good at math and some of us might be good in the band or in the choir. 
that's okay. We're all different. We've all been given great talents. Whatever those talents are, we're to take them and use them to glorify God, to make people know that we love God. That's our heart and soul. And our mind has to do with our academics. We're all in school, right? And, and everything we do in school, we should love God with our mind, which means we should do the very best we can do on every assignment we turn in. Because we're not just doing that assignment for Miss Landers or for Miss Rogers. We're not just turning that in for Miss Irons. We're not just giving Miss Gunnels our homework. We're not just giving Miss Brister or Miss Lee our assignments. We are literally saying, God gave me this brain and I want to use this mind to do the best I can. And I want to show you what God has given me. That doesn't mean that we all make a hundred all the time because we're not all going to do that. But what it does mean is we give our very best effort all the time. We try the best that we can with the mind that God gave us. So that's how we, we take care of some of those things. We use who we are to glorify God, to love God. And then we use our mind to do the best we can as we think about this world. Because we also need to understand that if we're going to do well in this world, we're going to need to think the way this book tells us to think. This is the Bible, and it's so important to us. It's so important because it's our guidebook. It tells us how to love God with all of our heart, with all of our soul, and with all of our mind. And this is the same thing for each one of us. Whether you're in kindergarten, or you're a sixth grader, or you're on the faculty, or whatever, every one of us are doing the same thing. Your, your teacher is trying to love God with his or her heart, mind, and strength, uh, just like each one of you as students are. I'm trying to love God with all my heart, soul, mind, and strength, just like you are. Because again, Jesus is the same, and so his commandment is the same for all of us. So if I want to go to infinity, I want, and beyond that, I want to love God the very, very best that I can. And then the second thing is this, love your neighbor as yourself. Now, everybody loves their self, right? <laughs> we eat, we take care of our body, we keep ourselves safe, we want to dress up and look nice. Like we, we, we like ourselves. that's not a problem. But Jesus says we should love others in that exact same way. That means I don't talk down to others. That means I don't act ugly toward others. That means I never try to hurt my friends or my family or those people at school, whether that means physically or emotionally with my words, means I do everything that I can do to make others around me feel like I love them, just like I love God. Well, if we love God with our heart, with our soul, with our mind, we're to love other people the same way. We're to use who we are inside and our mind and our words and our actions and our attitudes, everything about us to love them. There should be no doubt with anyone that we spend time with that we love God and that we love them. And, and this is something I've told you guys over and over and over again, but I think it's really important. See, to, to love others is infinity. And then to love God that same way is to go even beyond. That's what we're called to do. Or we could reverse it and say to love God is infinity and then to love others is going even beyond. But if, if Buzz wants to do those two things, we want to do two things as well. We want to love God and love others to infinity and beyond God and others. These are, these are the same, again, commandments that we've always had. There's nothing new for us. There's nothing new, whether we're disciples that are living with Jesus or we're living in Conway in 2021. There's some exciting things in front of all you guys. I'm so thrilled that God has blessed our school so much. We're going to be building a new building soon. You guys are going to have new classrooms to go to, new things to be part of. I just went to the play last week. Pretty soon we're going to have a place to put on that play. It was so good. Everybody did such a good job. See, that, that was loving God. They were doing a play, but they were loving God with their talents. And then they encouraged each other to be on the play, and that was loving others as well. So many exciting things are in front of you guys. And I want you to make the most of them. And the way that you do that is to love God and love others. You take Buzz with you. And every time maybe you see Buzz or think about him now, when he says infinity and beyond, I want you to hear love God, love others. I want to go to infinity and I want to go even beyond that to love those people around me. I want you guys to know this. I love each one of you. I love coming to work. and I love seeing you guys in the hall. I love when y'all wave at me and talk to me and we do knuckles and all that fun stuff. I want to keep doing that. And I want to see you guys grow in love for one another and love for Jesus. And I'm so thankful for your parents that send you here and allow us the opportunities to teach you. 
Guys, I hope you have a great day, and I hope your Wednesday goes to infinity and beyond. Have a good and godly day, guys, and until I see you in the hallway again, go serve your king. Love you.